Thanks for clicking this next episode of the Mike Powers Minute. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now, let's see what's popping. Somebody put out a list of what all the rappers make when they perform on college campuses. Iggy Azalea, between seventy-five dollars and $100,000. Is that Australian dollars or Kid Cudi, $100,000? Um, I guess people that drink... A lot of Starbucks got a lot of disposable income. Little baby is getting between seventy-five thousand and a hundred thousand dollars. I have literally never heard a little baby song. Lil Uzi Vert, two hundred thousand dollars. Megan Thee Stallion is getting between a hundred and a hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars, so she on the come up. Migos is getting between two hundred and fifty and three hundred and fifty thousand dollars for performing three hours of shit that may or may not be English. Post Malone between 150,000 and 200,000. Riff Raff, 15,000 or the salary of a rally's employee. The question is, which one of these two, Post Malone or Riff Raff, is hurting hip hop more? Let's see what we got here. Okay, uh, designer, 45,000? Uh, Dage Loaf between 30 and 35,000, both, uh, one hit wonder. So new boys, remember the new boys? I do not, um, between, between 15 and $20,000 to see the new boys and Nas bringing in a hundred thousand well, between a hundred thousand and 125,000. So go get that bag, Nas. Could it be that Tristan Thompson and Megan the Stallion are now dating? Uh, according to online reports, Tristan got in the DMs and invited Megan to a basketball game, which means she got to be mighty fucking thirsty to go see this man at a Cavs game. First of all, why would you invite your woman to a game that you know you about to lose? I wouldn't go see a Cavs game if they picked me up on the team bus and drove me to that bitch. Meanwhile, I hear this dude is still chasing after Chloe. They plan on spending the holidays together. My guess is that's when she gonna finally suck the rest of the soul out of that dude. And I don't mean no sloppy toppy either. I'm talking about literally sucking this nigga soul from his body the same way they did Kanye and Lamar Odom. Lil Nas X won a country music award recently. Can't stand this motherfucker's music, but I'm so happy that he pissed off all them racist ass rednecks. Akon recently said that he needs Kanye to run for president in 2020 or 2024. Nigga, shut the fuck up. Looks like Diddy is about to make another making the band because the other one turned out so good. And Kevin Hart is set to release a docu-series that'll chronicle the past year of his life. So I guess that means we'll get to see him be an unfunny, scary ass, tiny screaming black man in his own living room this time. The BET Awards, the BET Soul Train Awards was lightweight, horrible. Now, K. Michelle, Yolanda Adams, Boys to Men, and the time was on fire. But Alexander O'Neill and Sherelle looked like they was about to come to blows over the last crack rock. And for your feel good story of the day, this little brother right here is a drumming prodigy. Actually, he's a beast and he just scored a full scholarship to Alcorn State University. Five years old and he's already got a scholarship to college. You know what that means, right? It's amazing the places that you can go to when you forget the fact that you're not supposed to be there. You could do anything you want to do. So take a page out of this little man's book and go do it again. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Mike Powers, I'm out.